The second that restrictions lifted here in regional Victoria, Dad and I threw some last minute modifications on the Jeep and I hit the road. There were adventures, there was emus, kangaroos, koalas, and even beautiful colorful birds. But of course, there was a lot of rain as well. And you know what they say about best laid plans and putting a plan to the test? Yeah, every plan looks really good until it's put to the test. And so just three days later, here I am back in dad's driveway. That did not go to plan. That was not the greatest trip. And before I talk about what went wrong and what I need to improve or fix, I'll just talk a bit about what went really well and you know, what I'm happy with. And of course, the things that I worked on, they went really well. The winch, the lights, the snorkel, you know, those things are all done and they just kind of set and forget. And other than that too, new things that I added recently, I did put the Rhino Rack Pioneer platform up on top. And of course, the Renergy solar panel is mounted to that. And already the panel's been keeping my battery topped off. And actually I had to read the manual and check it out. It has been, and it is right now, trickle charging the starter battery. So that's one of the features I love of that thing. You can see too, I've got my surfboard over there on the other side of the Pioneer platform. And at the moment, I'm just using old ropes from dad to put it up there, but I have got some new straps on the way. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a lot easier to get the surfboards up and down onto the roof. And my storage cabinet worked pretty well. A few of the other small modifications, but to get to really the meat of why this trip didn't work and why my trip failed, we really only need to look in the back of the Gladiator here. And this sums it up. This is exactly the problem with my setup and it is disorganization. But you can see there's dirty dishes here. You can see I ended up just using a cooler and so there's melted ice in there. Um, I've got a Coleman two burner stove there and it wasn't until of course it was raining and windy that I figured out it leaked fuel badly. Then I figured out the second burner doesn't even work. So essentially what the problem here is just lack of an organization system. And it's really interesting, you know, there we go, proving my point. I didn't fully appreciate how much having such an organized kitchen in my last vehicle really impacted my trip and my overall happiness. And my kitchen for this thing, it just isn't here yet. It just isn't ready. And I thought I could hit the road without it. And I thought that, you know, it would be okay and I would make it work. And I think that's true, as I always say, if you're going for a weekend, which is essentially what I did. I camped with my brother, I hung out with my nephews. It was all great, I had a really good time. But of course it rained quite a bit. Of course there was mud. And the way that all of this is set up right now, it just can't handle that. And so what happens is it turns into the kind of camping trip where yeah, you throw your dirty dishes in as fast as you can because you try to get out of the rain. And then you're just sitting in the driver's seat thinking, I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna keep going because this stuff is all dirty. I'm already wet. You know, I smell like campfire. I haven't had a shower. All of this kind of stuff, it just compounds to you not enjoying your trip. And so this is where I really stress, and I've said this so many times before, where you hang out when the weather is bad, where you cook and where you sleep, they have a bigger impact on your trip than all of the other overlanding goodies put together. And I did just experience that firsthand, kind of for the first time in a long time. I was spoiled by that Jeep that I drove around Africa. That thing was so well dialed with my water system, my sleeping setup, my kitchen, everything is where I know, you know, I can just reach out and put my hand on whatever utensil I want or a light switch. I don't even have to look and I know that things are where they are. Whereas this is the exact opposite. This is difficult, this is hard work, and this is stressful. So what am I gonna do about it? Well, yeah, I drove back to dad's house. I drove until almost one in the morning last night because I have to fix this. This is just totally unworkable. So what I'm gonna do is take absolutely everything out and reorganize completely. Without the kitchen, I thought that I would get by without the fridge, but actually it turns out I need the fridge because it helps with organization so much. If nothing else, you know that all your fridge food is in the fridge. Right now, I think the lettuce is in the cooler, but actually it's probably in that box over there because I took it out last night in the dark. Whereas if I had a fridge, I know the lettuce is gonna be in the fridge. So first step, I'm gonna mount the fridge here. 
I don't have a slide for it or anything like that because that's all coming with the kitchen when it eventually gets here. So I'm kind of living this temporarily, temporary life. It's a bummer, but it is what it is. So I thought put the fridge about where the swag is. I'll probably just have to crawl in a little bit to open it and really get into the back corners of it. That is what it is. What I'm also gonna do is go and buy a big piece of plywood and I'll put a shelf at about the height of the bed rails, basically the whole gladiator. And I'll have to make it fit around the fridge somehow. And this is kind of what it'll be once the kitchen gets here. So I'll probably, if I'm careful, I'll be able to reuse the same piece of plywood. Basically what that'll get me is three dimensional stacking. So I'll be able to have my light things like my surfing bucket up on top. The swag will obviously go up on top of that plywood shelf versus all the other stuff like my water container. I'll be able to slide that underneath. Camping chairs, things like that. I'll be able to actually have three dimensional stacking. So that's gonna make a huge improvement back here. As well as that, I wanna really try hard to get better totes and a better system of what goes in which one. And I've already learned, I've never camped like this before because this is just not how I've done it. And so I've already learned that bigger is not necessarily better. I have a big one down the back there, you can't even see it right now. And the problem is you just get tempted to just throw more and more stuff in it. And it just gets so overloaded you don't even know what's in it anymore. And to get some of this stuff out, I have to take out things and move things around. This is exactly what I don't wanna do. I really am passionate about the idea of you don't wanna to have to move anything to get to anything else. Every item should just be reach in and get that item and you have it in your hand. This whole move something to get to something else, that just doesn't fly for what I wanna do. Again, a weekend trip, a week long trip, maybe you could tolerate it, but a serious long-term trip, that's not fun at all. Something else I really learned too, having these totes, it's so frustrating because you either have to sit them here on the tailgate, which then they're in the way, you can't kneel on the tailgate to crawl in further to get stuff. They're also in the way if you've got the stove set up. So then you just get really tempted to put them on the ground. But of course, as soon as you put them on the ground, they get muddy. And I've always said in all of my camping, all of my overlanding, I avoid as much as I can putting stuff on the ground for that exact reason. But it really does seem with the bed of a pickup like this, it's kind of your only choice. You almost get stuck into doing it. So this has been really eye-opening for me. Like I said, I've never had a pickup before and, and part of the reason I bought this thing is so I can learn the pros and cons compared to my four-door Wrangler. And already I'm gonna say, one of the huge disadvantages or, or one of the huge things you have to be really aware of you need a solid organization system. You really need to have a way that things are in their space and you need to be able to get at them without having to move other things out of the way. So that I think is more important than anything else that I've done. And you know, I built this huge big canopy and it's cavernous, there's all of this space up here. It's enormous, but I can't even use it because it's all so high. So in fact, building a big high storage thing like that is kind of already not that useful because I don't have 3D stacking. So right off the bat, I've learned really quickly, if you've got a pickup truck, organization is the number one most important thing beyond everything else. So that's really what I'm gonna focus on here for a few days. I've just made myself a list. We are still out of lockdown, so I can go to the hardware store, I can work on all of this stuff. Dad's gonna help me. I'm basically gonna do four or five days of fix it, improve it, bolt it down, move it, change it, go and buy a whole bunch of new totes, all of the upgrades, all of the improvements that I can come up with in the next five days or so. And then I'm gonna hit the road and try again. Uh, I need to unclog the stove. I need to get the fridge bolted down. I need to do a ton of stuff. So that's where I'm at and that's what I've learned. And I wanna say too, you know, this is a difficult video for me to put out because I really am just saying, yeah, I'm an idiot and I failed and things didn't go as I planned, even though I've been planning this trip for more than a year now. But I also wanna say too, this is really what overlanding is about. It's about try it and see how you go. Get out there for the weekend, see what works for you. Maybe a rooftop tent works really well for you, but maybe it doesn't. So 
don't feel like you failed or don't feel like you have to give up and say that this overlanding business, it isn't for me because I didn't enjoy my trip while it was raining and I had to put all my totes in the mud and all of that kind of stuff. Think about what's gonna make you happier. For me, organization is gonna make me happier. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. That's now become my priority. So keep in mind, make sure you focus on what's important for you and is gonna make you happy on your trips. That's what this is all about. And as long as you don't give up, reset, go home, have a shower, think about it, scratch your head, and then head out again next weekend and have another go at it and see how things work differently after you've moved things around and organized a few things. So fingers crossed, I can get a bunch of organization done. I'll show you more of what I'm building and what I'm working on, and then I'll get back out on the road and I'll try again. So thanks again for watching. I hope you can learn from my mistakes Definitely, if you can learn that way, you're gonna save yourself a bunch of money and hopefully time as well. And so until next time, stay safe out there and maybe I'll bump into you on the road.